I started picturing chandeliers swirling with light around New York skyscrapers and thus started the inspiration for the piece Chandeliers. Chandeliers was written a few weeks after 9-11 but the piece was not born out of the tragedy but rather it was born out of the light and the healing that prevailed in the aftermath of the tragedy. I was a New Yorker then, and you know, New York can have this energy of being aggressive and confrontational, but not in those first weeks in the wake of 9-11. I'll never forget amidst all the destruction and pain and suffering, that there was an abundance of light and humanity. I remember vigils, hundreds and thousands of candles being lit up all over the city, lighting up the skies, so much light in the presence of darkness and this light giving us hope and it, I started picturing chandeliers swirling with light around New York skyscrapers and thus started the inspiration for the piece Chandeliers. Chandeliers is also a breakthrough piece for me because up until that point I had always avoided writing for solo piano and somehow this inspiration released me and Chandeliers is my first real opus for solo piano and I'm so grateful that it's been played and recorded by marvelous artists such as Shani De Luca and Natasha Peremsky and Sunhee Yu and recently in the summer, as part of Make Music Day New York, it was given its New York premiere by my dearest friend Elena Kristova. And it was performed at the Oculus World Trade Center. Now, how special and significant is that? That a piece that was born and inspired by the light and the healing in the wake of this tragedy be played and heard at its new home, so to speak, in this renewed and reborn and positive new World Trade Center. I'm extremely grateful to everyone who made this possible. Thank you. <laughs>